back to my channel. This is Laura. Today I have some really cool stuff to share with you from the Dollar Tree. I was over there a couple of days ago and I found some really cool stuff. Stuff that my Dollar Tree hadn't been getting that I saw a lot of people hauling and I'm so excited to share it with you. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing that I found as soon as I walked into the store was this Family Guy coloring book. It's from Titan Books. The retail value of this book was $14.95. Can you believe that guys? Now I'm going to show you how nice the pages are. I'm going to see if you can see that. Look at the intricacy of all this. I do not have the patience to do this but I'm seeing there's some very talented people out there. Look at that. This with some nice markers that are for coloring books would make a great gift guys. A beautiful book. And you can feel the quality of the book. It's not cheaply made at all. So if you see this, this is a good pickup. They had these hanging in one of the aisles on one of their little strips and I saw them and I was like, okay, well we have a cooking channel so we have to pick these up. These are flower sack towels and they are from the home collection. And look at this. How pretty is that? It says cook, eat, and be happy. Yes, ma'am. Look at that. Real pretty. And I'm sure they are a good size. Oh, yes, they are. I hadn't even checked that out. I love flower sacks. Towel. They work great. I love to cover my dough when I'm making bread with flower sacks. And then I got another one. And it has a rolling pin. And it says roll with it. So yes, we are going to roll with it. How cool is that? And the colors are really nice, guys. Look at that. I love it. These were the only two designs that I saw. And I'm just going to go randomly, guys. Everything is just a hodgepodge here on, on my table. These are an older product, but I had never found them at my Dollar Tree. It's by Special Moments. It's a letter board with 50 letters. Check this out. How cool is that? So let's see what I'm going to come up with to put on my on my desk, I think. Pretty cool for $1. Can you believe that? Okay, I think I'm going to jump on to the stickers here. I got these puffy stickers. These are the Jot brand, the Dollar Tree brand. Look at these. Let me see if I can separate them for you. Look at that. How cool are these? And these are really, really puffy. Let me show you one at a time. These are the fruits and they have lemons, pineapples, cherries, bananas, apples, and watermelon. Look at that. And these are great to close my little packages, cookie packages with. Okay, and then we have, like for a little girl, we have a unicorn, the love, glasses, lips. Real pretty. And the last one gives me 70s vibes here. We have a tennis shoe, a milkshake, a skateboard, a cassette player, a roller skate, and a peace sign. Look at that. How cool is that? I mean, they just, can you hear that? That's the puffiness of the sticker. I'm going to see if you can see that. I doubt it, how puffy they are. But these are cool, guys. Always find great stickers at the Dollar Tree. Okay, and then another wall sticker that I found. It says, let go and let God. Yes, ma'am. We sure will. Look at that. These are great wall stickers, guys. If you live in an apartment or in a rental that you cannot put anything on your walls, these are great because you can take them off and for a dollar. Okay, and you know I can't go to the Dollar Tree without hitting the gift wrapping section. So I did find me, look at this. How cool are these? Look at the colors. Look at this one with the little circles. It does have some glitter, but remember what I tell you about that. Just give them a light spray with some hairspray and you won't have glitter all over the place. And the front has glitter, the back doesn't. And it has a white ribbon, which goes pretty well. You can change it if you don't want white. And let's check out the sides. Same print. And then on this one, this is so pretty as well. I'm sure they're all the same. The sides are the same. And the back has no glitter. And they put this yellow, vibrant yellow ribbon on it. That is very pretty. And like I said, if you don't like the ribbon, change it. Okay, and the next thing I found... These are going to be for my godson. I'm excited for him to try these. Look at the Crayola bath bombs. They are, these are the Crayola Color Twist 
bath bombs and they are blue blueberry blast scent and they tell you the color that they have there and that's a yellow this is a blue and this is another blue so I'm sure these are going to be fun and they are quite large let me see if it has a size a weight a 2.12 ounce so that's pretty good size for a bath bomb this will make a good basket for a small child for a smaller child make a great basket okay also in the home decor section look what I found a camera and it is a, a ceramic and the back is just a camera now I did see another one it was a vlogging camera where it had the screen on the back I should have grabbed it but I didn't I'm gonna go back and see if I can still find it I'm looking for some decor for my office for some bookshelves that I'm putting up and this is gonna go great considering what I do this is gonna go really good okay I did find some more trinket trays let me see if I can pick them all up here look at that pineapple this is a pineapple little trinket tray see if you can see it and this is a unicorn can you see that how cute make a real cute birthday gift for a little girl and the little elephant look at that how cute these are the only ones that I had at my Dollar Tree I don't know if there's any more if you've seen other ones, let us know in the comments. Now, I went down the beauty section as always, and I did find these luxury bath fizzers. They are vanilla rose blossom scented, and they are eight bath fizzers. They look like this. I thought they were pretty interesting. I have never seen these before. I have seen girls hauling them, and they say they, they, they're pretty scented. It says drop the bath fizzer into your bath and add a wonderful scent to your body and bath. Pretty nice. Good size for a dollar. Yeah, I found a new Bolero bath soap. It's a moisturizing bar soap, coconut, and wild berries. I've told y'all before that I like to use these bath soaps to clean my makeup brushes. These make your, get your makeup brushes really, really clean. And your sponges, whatever you use on your face, and it really gets them really clean and leaves them nice and soft. So I'm always buying these for my makeup brushes. So give them a try. Mm, and they smell really nice guys give these a try this is the only one I'd seen I did see on a previous trip they had a pink one but I didn't pick it up but this time I'm glad I did it smells really good okay now in the beauty section again I found the spa scriptions brightening micellar cleaning water with vitamin C and witch hazel this stuff is really good guys if you're removing your makeup at night this stuff really takes off the makeup it really dilutes the makeup the oiliness of the makeup and helps you clean your face really well so I normally buy the Garnier one I saw this and I said let me give this a try so I will let y'all know if this works pretty good and it's a pretty good size it's a 16.9 fluid ounces it says up to 250 uses so we're gonna give it a try I'm gonna give it a sniff see what it smells like Mmm, it smells nice and citrusy. I guess it shows the oranges, so I'm, sh I'm assuming it's citrusy, so it does smell really nice. And with that, I hit the jackpot with facial wipes. I found the Fatigue Anti-Aging Makeup Cleansing Wipe in Anti-Aging Moisturizing and pore refining look at that and don't think these are a dollar each they're a dollar for three packs so don't sleep on these guys these are great facial wipes I went ahead and got a whole mess of them because for that price you're not gonna find them again I'm sure they're gonna fly off the shelf so don't sleep on these I went into the hair clips and the the brushes and I always check that section out y'all had seen in my previous haul that I had found some of these velvet scrunchies. I had not gotten this emerald green one, so I found it and I picked it up. But guess what? They had the the red and this beautiful blue green, and they also had the Sophie brand in this mauve color with some pearls. Look at these guys, and they are really strong. But look at those jewel colors. How nice are these? I can't wait to try them. I also found something new at the Dollar Tree as far as clips. You always find good clips at the Dollar Tree, but this is a Sincerely Jewels by the Scunchy brand. And these are three clips. They are velvety. This one has like a 
like a glitter texture to it, but it's not glitter. And these are like velvety, just like the, the, the scrunchies are. Really, really super nice. Great colors, a mauve, and that's like a like a, a green, a seafoam green color. And with the same brand, the Sincerely Jewels by Scunchy, they also had these elastic ones. These are great for people with straight hair. If you first dry your hair and you put something on it, it's going to leave marks. These will not leave marks and you're getting five for a dollar. I buy these sometimes at the beauty supply house. You get two and you're, two or three and you're paying six dollars. I'm gonna give these a try and they're nice and thin, so I'll let y'all know how they work. I was excited to find these. And then I also found these headbands. It's from the Athletic Wear by Expressions. And you get two, this braided one and then this solid black one. Great to keep your hair back during the summertime. Okay, guys, and if you stuck with me this far, thank you, and I appreciate you. We are coming to the last of the items. Now, I didn't pick up any food items. I just picked up a couple of snack things. I did. This is new to my Dollar Tree. It's a Chicago American Caramel and Cheddar Popcorn. Now, that's interesting. But I have heard that these are delicious. So I bought one. I'm going to check it out. Let y'all know in a future video. But it sounds interesting, I must say. Okay, and then a new item that the Dollar Tree has are these Kit Kat Thins. Crisp wafers and milk chocolate. We all know Kit Kats. These are supposed to be thin and they feel very, very thin. I'm going to open this and show you. Okay, so there they are. Very thin, very small. Kit Kat, you can't go wrong with it. And then I did get me some sugar-free heart candy, lemon flavored. Nothing fancy, just something to, you know, have as a little treat. Sorry if y'all can hear that rumbling, guys. We've been having some crazy rain here in, in Texas. Thunder is crazy today. Hopefully the lights stay on. I did pick up some bubble gum. I am a bubble gum fanatic. I love to have bubble gum in a jar available all the time, guys. Just fun fact. Okay, now we have come to the best item. I was so excited to find these. I know I've seen so many people find them, and I was so jealous. Couldn't get them. Finally, look, guys, the candy jars. Oh, I was so excited. I say candy jars, you can use these for detergent pods, all kinds of stuff for organization in your pantries, for chip bags, for fruit cups, all kinds of stuff. Now you don't want to store anything that's open because these are not airtight. But look at this. I picked up four of these guys. I was so excited. I wanted to make sure I had some enough in case I decide to do an organizational video. I needed to make sure I had plenty of these. I mean, you can use... I can't even start to tell you how we can use these. Just craziness. Now, if you want to plan a party, small child party, you can have a candy bar. Fill half of them up with some candy, put some scoops in them, or a baby shower. Uh, put pink and blue, different decorations or candies or treats in them. I mean, the possibilities are endless with these. That was my exciting find. That was the last item for this video, the most exciting I thought. Now leave me a comment down below and tell me what was your favorite item of this haul. Let us know in the comments below what you're finding that's exciting at your Dollar Tree. And if you enjoyed the content today, guys, give this video a thumbs up. That really helps out the channel. And don't forget to share it with family and friends. I'm trying so hard to grow the channel, guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.